we are going to rearrange all of the letters in words and learn how to deal with repetition within those words. How many distinct ways are there to rearrange all of the letters in the word switch, where all six of the letters are different? Well, one way to visualize this is to give yourself six blanks for the six letters. And how many options do you have for that first letter that you choose? Well, you have six options. How many letters do you have for the next option? Well, you've already used up one of them, so you only have five options for the next blank. And four, and three, and two. And by the time you get to the last letter, you only have one option. Now, this is fundamental accounting principle. When you multiply them all together, you end up with six factorial. Some people will call that 6p6, or a permutation of six items, when you have six to choose from. But a factorial, 6 factorial or n factorial, when you're rearranging n distinct items, is simply the number of distinct ways you can do that. Once you have duplicate or triplicate letters, things change a little bit. There are still six letters here that we have to rearrange, but we have double and triple counted some of the combinations because these three A's are equivalent. If I switched that A with that A, you wouldn't know the difference. It's the same word. Now, the way you're going to do that is to divide by however many possible ways there are to rearrange those three letters without seeing a difference. And there are three of them. So the answer is divide it by three factorial. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of math here. Six factorial on this calculator, well, and yours too, is 720. So there's 720 ways to rearrange this six-letter word. But I have to divide by three factorial to get only 120 distinct ways to rearrange the letters here. Again, I am dividing by three factorial for the three equivalent A's. Now let's just practice that together. Here we have a six-letter word, six factorial, and you divide by three factorial for the three A's, but you also have double N's. So you're gonna divide by another two factorial. Now these are multiplied together in the denominator before you divide, but the other way to do that on your calculator is to type the top six factorial. And you divide by three factorial for the A's, and then you divide again by two factorial for the N's. So when you have three A's, two N's, and a B, there's really only 60 ways to rearrange those six letters. Cool. Let's do the word mathematics because some teachers love that word. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven letters. So that's 11 factorial in the numerator. I have two M's, so I need to divide by two factorial. I have two A's. So I have to divide by another two factorial. Two t's, that's another two factorial. And all the rest of the letters aren't duplicated. So we just have to do 11 factorial. Now again, on my calculator here, I have a factorial button, this exclamation mark. Surely you do as well. It's probably n factorial or x factorial like mine. Divided by two factorial. Three times we're dividing by two factorial, M's, A's, and T's. Oh, that's still a large number. I get 4,989,600. And lastly, let's do Toronto, a seven-letter word that has three O's and two T's. Look how quick this is once you know the pattern. Seven factorial divided by three for the O's three factorial, that is, and divided by another two factorial for the T's. That's 420 ways to rearrange the letters of Toronto. Now, if you're looking for a generic formula for this, the way that we write it is N factorial for the number of letters in the original word, divided by A factorial, B factorial, C factorial, dot, 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 where this and this and this all represent the double, triple, quadruple letters that you might have in your word. Cool, not too bad. There's five examples on 
distinct ways to rearrange all of the letters in a word. Some teachers call that permutations with repetition. All right, thanks for being with me and best of luck.